With my silver Jeep packed, I set off on the next great journey, working my way to my wildlife biology adventures in coastal Oregon. Wonder and the unknown awaits. Frozen night led to a beautiful, unexplored morning in the Idaho wilds. All right, it's a little bit of a detour on my uh, route into Oregon to start my field job. So I'm currently at a state park and I uh, am mildly ashamed to admit I forgot the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's something like McCarmick State Park, but I can't remember the exact name. So I think through the, the magic of text technology, I'll just put it up on the screen here. And as you can see, this is just this really, really beautiful winter type place where you have just this amazing frost covered pine trees out in the Idaho mountains. And this is the kind of country I've lived in a lot of my life to some extent. And so it's just really awesome to just spend a bit of time wandering around and uh, exploring this amazing, beautiful place. Western winters have a way of dramatically changing the patterns in the landscape, turning trees into glistening frozen statues. Oceans of starlight found at the end of a pine tree's needles. Countless wonders in the frozen cold. deep snow comes unusual driving techniques. Later that night, I arrived in Oregon, ready for new adventures. All right, well today I'm at Horse Thief Butte, which is an area by the Columbia River right at the Washington-Oregon border. And this area is just super, super rich in human history and incredible geology. This area was part of the Columbia River flood basalt province where so many millions of years ago, vast volcanic fields erupted from the ground and just oozed lava from cracks in the earth that extended for hundreds and hundreds of miles. The Columbia Gorge was also carved by the collapse of the Lake Missoula Dam, a glacial dam that existed in Missoula, Montana, that sent out cascades of flooding that extended over those many hundreds of miles and carved open these amazing gorges out here. So this is very much a land that was in some ways carved by fire and ice. Over 81,000 square miles of the Pacific Northwest are covered in deep layers of ancient lava, spewed from cracks in the earth that opened 17 to 14 million years ago. Fiery fissures hundreds of miles long. silence, you're surrounded by volcanic ghosts.
Another force helped structure this incredible landscape. Water every bit as violent as the earth turned molten. Deep channels of the Columbia River Gorge were carved by the repeated epic floods of the Lake Missoula Dam, formed when a vast wall of ice damming up the lake melted and let through unfathomable torrents of water before refreezing for the process to begin once more. The aftermath of the Missoula floods are apparent from the top of the lava fields. The largest discharge of the 25 flood events that carved the Columbia Gorge discharged over 10 cubic kilometers per hour, over 13 times that of the entire Amazon River. Violent events that shape an entire landscape lost to memory. 